Well, alright guys, how you doing? Fuzzy Phantom here, and welcome back to some more Phantom Pain. We're gonna get on with the story, and the next mission is the White Mamba. We don't have much choice of where to drop in, so we'll just do it as they want us to. Well, okay, it's a... or it seems like a pretty straightforward mission, so extract an enemy and get him back to the base. But, that being said, I had to do this a couple of times to figure out... Not how to do the S-Rank, because the S-Rank is pretty easy on this mission. You can pretty much go get in really fast and get out. Which is where you're going to get most of the bonus points from. But, to do it in a perfect stealth walkthrough, it was kind of tricky. That being said, I think I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. Had to do it a couple of times just to figure it out, but we should be able to do it this time. So we'll get back to that point when we get there. Okay, let's just ignore these other guys. We don't care about them. Let's head out to that mission point as fast as we can. Man, I run so fast I can't even pick up the freaking flowers. I'm so in a rush. Ooh, shot to the head. Ah, that kid's having a bad day. Yeah, so apparently we gotta fight our way all the way through uh, what seems to be an enormous kindergarten. Oh man, this is getting so weird, this story. And I know this is this is not very nice, taking out these kids, but I really don't feel like them pissing us off halfway through the mission. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much put them all to sleep, so that they can't set off any alerts later on. I found out that was the best strategy to have, and we're gonna make sure we don't miss any. I gotta say, I'm freaking loving my sniper rifle. This is a uh, rank 4, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have the aptitude to put it up to a rank 5. But the suppressor is really, really resistant. And the range is, is like insane how far it can go. So I think the sniper rifle is gonna be my best friend for a big portion of, of the game. The only thing is that it makes the game kind of easy. I mean, that's not pretentious or anything like that, but you can pretty much snipe a lot of guys being at a, at a distance, and since you don't need to reload your suppressor very often, it gets you through a big part of the game. Oops. Now. Oh. That kitty has a short attention span. Apparently, he's not getting baited. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Man, look at the range on this thing. That is just insane. God, I love this gun. I actually don't get why they say the sniper rifle has a heavier penetration with uh, with the enemies. I have the impression that they go to sleep just as fast as with the pistol shots. I mean, I'm not talking about headshots because they pretty much go to sleep directly with both. But look, they're they're still awake, so that it goes faster is not the entire truth. Damn. Oh, that was lucky. I thought. I thought he was gonna set off something. Please select a drop point. Damn, failed a mission. Supplies requested. Oh, 
Okay, so I know there's a dude on the other side of the village here that you can't see on the map, so let's go get him. That's our main target up there in the ship. We'll get back to him later. Ah, fuck this. I'm not gonna pick up all the materials. Come back later. Although I really, really need materials to upgrade my base. Ah, I really got to get to doing that. Okay, let's take out this little dude. And then we can get on with it. Outpost captured. There we go. Okay, so like I was saying, I found the best strategy was just put them all to sleep. So that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. And now we're going to go get our HVT. Which is the general. And I'm actually making air quotes here. Which you can't see, but you'll find out pretty, pretty soon. And this was where I was fucking up. Apparently you got to take out the HVT completely stealthily too and I want to take him out with my sniper but I can't see him because I was thinking you could pretty much kick his ass like in most boss fights but that does not work it will take the stealth bonus away from you so I want to take him out can I do it from here damn the angle is not good yeah yeah Okay, let's hope we can do it from here. Oh, s oh, sweet! I can see him. So that's the general. Mark air quotes. Ah, oh, that little shit. I tried to fight him a couple of times. He really is a cocky little shit. Too bad I can't show the cutscenes here because I'm doing it stealth mode. But if you have the chance, you should try beating the shit out of this guy. It's really funny to see. Damn, where is he? And that's the thing, if you try to fight him, the other kids won't especially wake up. But you anyway can't get that stealth walkthrough, so one way or another you get screwed. So let's just call in the chopper and get him the hell out of here. Oh damn, I forgot a prisoner. I'm quickly gonna go get him. I'm not sure if there are any other prisoners, but it's the only one that D-Dog could find, so... I'm not gonna fuck around any longer, I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. Let's just extract these two targets and get the hell out of here. Man, look at that bad attitude. You little shit. Get into the chopper and shut the fuck up. Base. Development project has been added. Amazing. Mission complete. That right All right, guys, so that's how you got to do it. Boss. Just the take out that last target or the general stealthily, and you should get through there with a perfect stealth. So that does it for the S rank. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.
Welcome to Outer Heaven. Soldier, you got that. Anyone here can use a knife or a gun. What you're gonna learn is how to use your head. Let's move. Get that under your belt, then you're free to leave. <laughs> 